Astrophotography has been a big part of my life for the past six years. Antoine and I have gone out under the stars together so many times and imaged more than 200 different targets. Doing this together is awesome, but often Antoine goes out by himself and I'm stuck at home because of work. And since we started, I've never imaged on my own. But tonight, this is about to change. We recently bought a second guide cam and some extra accessories in order to complete our full second rig. And I really wanted to make this one my own, an image without any help. As of today, I'm naming my Mead 70mm Apo Audrey. In this video, I'm going to head out a few miles away from the city with Audrey and have some fun. I will set up everything on my own and image the beautiful pinwheel galaxy. I'll only have about 4 hours of data before the moon rises and Antoine has been uh, forbidden from helping me so let's do this! target that I'm going to be shooting tonight. It is M101, the pinwheel galaxy, and I'm trying to zoom in here. Lovely. Haha! -ha! There you are. So uh, what I have here is um, what I will see through the camera uh, with my Mead 70mm Apo, Audrey. And uh, I won't be using this camera exactly, I'll be using the color version, but it's the same framing, so this is exactly what I'll see. So now that I have this ready for myself, I am ready to go out now. I'm going to pack up and I'll show you guys my equipment and I'll do that in less than 30 seconds. So this would be the place that I would come to if I was alone, and obviously I'm not because somebody has to handle the camera. Hi, Tuan. But I'm going to pretend to image as if Antoine wasn't here, so he's going to be a little ghosty today. And the reason I would come here is because I'm not too far away from a gas station, I'm not too far from home, and I can also get some really great images uh, because I'm far enough away from the city. <laughs> talk about the equipment that I'm using. Obviously, uh, you know our tripod, our Atlas EQG mount from Orion. I have a lot of ZWO products, so this is the 071 MC camera. I also have a ZWO guide cam, uh, the electronic focuser, as well as the ASI Air Pro. I also have my 70 millimeter um, Mead Apo, which is named Audrey. <laughs> um, yeah, and I guess that's about it. I'm using the Jackery today. I have the tiny version. Uh, Antoine uses the bigger one. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're gonna do this thing. Another thing to mention is that I took the triad filter out before I came here because I'm, in, I'm imaging in Galaxy today and we won't need the filter for it. Actually, it works better not to use a filter when you're imaging galaxies, so I removed that before we left the house, so 
we're good to go here. And if you didn't know already, some refractors actually allow you to take out this end piece here by unscrewing uh, this area here and you can put in a filter if you'd like. The one thing that you wanna do is never forget to balance. Um, I have done this before. And actually, I had a pretty awesome guiding that night and Antoine was absolutely shocked. It was really, really funny, but it wasn't funny for him, but I got great shots that night. Time to polar align. So now it's nighttime, and I'm not going to bore you guys with every single thing that I do, but I do want to show you what I see from my point of view. I use the ASI Air to image which is super easy. Here you can see me connecting the equipment, slewing to M101, plate solving, and using the ZWO autofocuser to achieve great focus automatically. I then activate the guiding and shoot away. I like to take a quick test shot just to make sure I'm centered before launching a series of images for the night. And then we're good to go. So I'm about an hour and a half in and things are going pretty well as you can see. We got the target in there. So I'm just chilling in the car because it's kind of cold now and yeah, we're just kind of waiting it out and hoping to get just a little bit more data before we head out. three hours of data of M101 now and I think that's about enough uh, the moon is gonna come up it's like three quarters full so I think we're good to go and uh, yeah I'll head out home and we'll process this data tomorrow came home and we were able to stack the images so that's already prepared and the master file is good to go I just am sitting here now and I'm realizing maybe maybe I need some help because I still don't know what I'm doing so I guess I guess I have to ask Antoine for help so I need a little bit of help oh. I yeah I started processing and I just mm, I'm not confident really how to start look how the turntables have turned Mm. So I think I think you can turn yourself away from your game. So it appears that I'm actually new after all. Yes. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> hey guys, so I am glad to uh, officially be part of this video uh, with um, helping Daya here for Peace Insight. So we made a video earlier, I think last month, about um, teaching her to process using Peace Insight. So. Um, I guess you still need some help to get started here. Yep. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to help her at all. Uh, I'm going to test an experiment, which is, uh, she's going to use the PDF guide uh, we wrote, uh, I think a year ago, 
and she's going to be using the beginner guide for pixel insight. So it's a very quick, uh, I think there's only, let's see, 26 pages on this beginner guide. And so she'll be using that and we'll see if she can uh, process this M101 Galaxy from start to finish by herself. So um, I wish you luck, my love. Uh, try to do the best you can. And uh, if you need help, I'll come to you. Just 26 pages. Just scream my name and uh, we'll see if you get a great result. Yeah, I hope so. Good luck. <laughs>what am I doing? <laughs> but I did increase my Pix Insight skills, so achievement unlocked. Finally, it's done. And now I will step away. So here is my finished product of M101, and I like it, but I mean, what do you think? Well, um, I think your processing was not too bad. Um, I think I would do it again though. I think out of frustration maybe I... She was very frustrated. <laughs> Way too much uh, frustration, because here, if you zoom in, there is still so much noise, and I I'm sure you could take this you can make this much cleaner very easily. I think with what I've learned now after having gone through that, I could probably do it again and do it better. Uh, you know, with a more careful, a more patient eye. So if it was me, I, would, I, I think it's possible to make it cleaner. I think it's possible to make those tiny galaxies, the background and bright stars less blown out. And I think it's missing some red color in the galaxy here. I don't know I how like I wasn't yellow. I wasn't able to like bring out the reds. Yeah. But again, this. I mean, there's no H A. There's no filter, so we don't have any H A. Yeah, but... just maybe it was you know due to my impatience. Yeah, probably. But for a good one, uh, it's a good try. <laughs> Thanks. After calling you up and down the stairs like a hundred times. I went up and down the stairs like literally like seventeen times. I mean, my legs it's hurt. A good butt workout, so you're welcome. Great. All right. Anyway, so we hope you guys like this video. Uh, since sometimes people comment, oh, where was Dahlia? Where is Dahlia? Well, this time you got an overload of Dahlia. <laughs> so, I'm trying to be here as much as I can. <laughs> so, so we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> and the next video will be uh, our tips about astrophotography from the city, from extreme light pollution. So I think you would like this video. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. And Peace, guys. guys.